You're particularly spooked about UKIP, it seems. Uh, they say you're going around digging up dirt about some of their candidates. Well, they, of course, haven't been able to vet their candidates, and fringe-right parties do tend to collect a number of waifs and strays. The, some of the ones they've sent to the members of the European Parliament, one of them got sent to prison, others had to send back a lot of money because of the, uh, they all believed what they'd been saying about the Brussels gravy train and rather unwisely tried to take advantage of it. But um, the, the, the trouble with UKIP, really, is it's just a protest party. Uh, it's against the political parties, the political classes, it's against foreigners, it's against immigrants, but it doesn't have any very positive policies. They don't know what they're for. And I think if you look at Italy, where they've just managed to come out of the mess getting to, it shows the dangers. If ordinary members of the public, who are very angry about the political class, really, vote for people uh, who are, in Italy's case, just comedians, a man called Beppe Grillo, and all kinds of all sorts of men and women, some of them reputable, some of them not, with no idea on government or what they wanted to do. You create a bit of a crisis, create a mess. We're talking about running county councils here. You should send to the county council people who control the council tax, carry on running it sensibly at a very difficult time of financial crisis. And uh, no doubt most of the UKIP people are perfectly nice when they're having a drink, but I wouldn't send most of them to the county council. OK, waves and strays, you've called them. I take it you're not a fan. What about the Prime Minister's comments some years back? Uh, fruitcakes and closet racists. Uh, I've met people who satisfy both those descriptions uh, in UKIP. Indeed, some of the people who assure me that they're going to vote UKIP, I will put into that category, and I rather suspect they've never voted for me. But there are the, the, the temptation to ordinary voters of UKIP is these are very difficult times. The, the political class are regarded as having got us into a mess. The last government left chaos behind them. The present government's having a long, hard road to follow to get us back to normality. It's very tempting to vote for a collection of clowns or indignant, angry people who, who promise that somehow they'll allow you to take your revenge on the people who caused it. Well, you should what, actually what? vote for people who you think are going to be sensible county councillors. But just, just on the specific tactic that UKIP uh, enraged about digging up uh, old statements that some of the candidates may have made before they even got involved in politics from, from social media, from Twitter and Facebook and places like that. Well, some of them are saying quite different things now they're in politics to their actual views and what they used to say. I think people like that should be exposed myself. I've, my views have always been the same. OK, I mean, part of their appeal is, of course, as you mentioned, it's... Uh, on Europe and uh, you know when it comes to or Europe and immigration of course and when it comes to the issue of migration from within the European Union they have the answer because they want to withdraw when it comes to Romanians and Bulgarians which is on everyone's mind at the moment come 2014 do the Conservatives just have to say well look this is what happens if you're going to remain a member of the European Union we have to let them in however many come now, now, you keep have created a quite ridiculous scare about the hordes of Bulgars and the hordes of Romanians who are coming here, uh, which is total nonsense. We do have rules which stop people coming here for benefit, coming here for the health service. We already have some Bulgarians coming and going. There's quite a population here. There's no particular reason to think this is going to change things. It is true <coughs> that the... The Department of Work and Pensions and various NHS trusts are not always very good at sorting out whether foreigners are entitled to uh, non-emergency health care or to benefit. They should be entitled on a well-established rules, should have some reason for being here, be legally resident here and so on, and they should be better enforced. But the idea that uh, hordes of uh, benefit-claiming Bulgarians are heading to the United Kingdom is a sort of daft issue which uh, UK, parties like UKIP raise. And until we uh, actually get to the stage when people discover that their neighbourhood isn't suddenly full of uh, Romanians, uh, obviously they will continue to exploit it. There are many more serious things in the county council elections and many more serious subjects of European reform. The British have perfectly good rules on benefit and health service entitlement. We should be better at enforcing them. But otherwise, we, we yep. shouldn't let UKIP set the agenda in this way.